A new bill in the legislature would make it so each individual school board or district would decide class size. Currently, the state has that authority. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien explored the legislation after speaking with both parties. Class size decisions could be changing in Tennessee. We're not saying, hey, have ginormous class sizes. That's frankly silly, asinine. Um, but the localities should be able to determine what is the maximum class size. Bristol Republican Senator John Lundberg filed a bill to allow each local education agency, or LEA, to establish the maximum class size for each grade level. The state will put out the best practices, and, and here's what the research shows, but the LEA determines class size. It's a move that's part of a larger battle of state versus local control in education. Most times, Democrats are in favor of more local control. But this time, the sides are switched. I think that we should be going in an opposite direction where we're decreasing the class sizes. Lundberg is facing criticism from people who say he's trying to eliminate class size. But he says it's not eliminating a benchmark, it's simply shifting the authority behind it. And his local district asked him to consider it. He said, we have a third grade that has 20, we had 26 students. Well, the maximum class size for third grade is 25. Shouldn't we have the discretion to go over one or two? There needs to be some approval at the state level. Because, yeah, we do have the cases where it's 26 students. But what about the LEA that wants to save money? And so they put 35 students in a classroom. And that, I think, is unacceptable. Ackberry argues it's a slippery slope. One year it may be 26, then the next is 27, and so on. Yes, what I would prefer is that if you do have those one-off situations or, you know, it's one or two students, they could ask for a waiver. But Lundberg says LEAs have a vested interest in preventing that. I don't think you'll see that abused. I really don't. Because those LEAs are governed by elected boards, school boards. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. I want to point out here, Chris asked Lundberg how confident he was on this bill passing on a scale of 1 to 10. Lundberg laughed and said, quote, in this place, I don't know if I'd ever wager on that.